would win in a fight, Dicka or God? Um, Hi, I'm Benji Sarlin. It's October the 7th, 2011, and this is the campaign in 100 seconds. Happily ever after is a myth. Today's topic, apologies. Sorry. Sorry. Come through. Sorry. Now, we all know Mitt Romney doesn't like apologies. He wrote a whole book on it. But that was published in early 2010, back when the dominant conservative meme about Obama was that he was doing things like bowing to Saudi kings, bowing to Japanese emperors, bowing to Chinese autocrats. He even bowed to the mayor of Tampa, Florida. Lily, this is kind of a tough topic for not only for grown-ups to talk about, but for kids to talk about, too. Romney's kept up essentially the same theme on the campaign trail in 2011, that Obama's weak and he won't stand up to dictators. But the problem is that that message has, to some degree, as they put it in military terms, been overtaken by events. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden in a limited military action in Libya. So part of what Romney was doing today in his speech was trying to find another way to make Obama look weak, and he did get this soundbite out of it. If you do not want America to be the strongest nation on earth, I'm not your president. On actual policy merits, Romney and Obama aren't necessarily that far apart. Romney's been somewhat vague on where he's going to go in Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iran versus Obama. And when it comes to the question of whether Obama is weak on foreign policy, well, someone special has his back. Captain Kirk was captain of everybody's fate. He was a dictator. Mr. Obama is forced to deal with members of his own party and members of the opposition. I am Iron Man! <laughs> Everybody needs to laugh once in a while or you, you go crazy.